Hey man, what's up? Uh, you gonna be participating in the Solar Bear Challenge this year? What? You don't know what the Solar Bear Challenge is? Ah, oh, come on man. It's a lot of fun. Here, let me tell you all about it. Well, you see, a long, long time ago, in a uh, land far, far away, I think it was called Chicago, they, uh, there was this dude, his name was Chuck. Uh, suburban writer, I think he calls himself. Kind of looked like Santa Claus. Anyway, uh, this guy, Chuck, he was participating in this other challenge called the Polar Bear Challenge. Now, the Polar Bear Challenge is kind of crazy. I mean, these guys get on their motorcycles and they go out riding in sub-freezing temperatures and freeze their balls off, man. But, you know, they have a lot of fun doing it, I guess, you know, but whatever. But anyway, so uh, Chuck... He's thinking, you know, he's got a lot of people that uh, would like to participate in the polar bear challenge, but they can't because they live in warm climates. You know, places like uh, France and the United Kingdom and Florida and Texas and, and, you know, other foreign countries like that, you know? You know what I mean, man? So Chuck, this one day, he calls up this other dude named Rob, RC62, and he says, Hey, Rob, man, how about setting up a challenge for the guys that live in these other foreign countries where it's warm and, it, it, you know, it's, it's too warm to ride in the winter and do the polar bear challenge? So Rob thought about it for a while. And he said, All right, Chuck, I'll do that for you, man. I'll set something up. So anyway, this dude, Rob, RC62, he contacted this chick named uh, Jill, one Jillian. And uh, she kind of helped him come up with the name for the challenge, the solar bear thing. And uh, she started thinking about, you know, what are we going to do for this challenge? And uh, she told Rob, she go, you know what? It would be kind of cool if you spelled out the name Solar Bear using street signs. So Rob thought, oh, yeah, man, that's cool. So Rob set up this challenge, the SBC. And he ran the challenge, and a whole bunch of people participated. A lot of people watched. And they laughed their ass off, man, because it was just so funny. They'd find a sign. They'd see a, a letter to spell out Solar Bear. And uh, when they find the sign, they get off their bike and they run around. And they start chanting, Solar Bear, Solar Bear, Solar Bear. It's funny as shit, man. So anyway, the winner of that challenge was Gogosaur. And Gogosaur, he decided he's going to host the challenge last year. So Gogosaur did another challenge where you find these signs and you run around your bike. And, you know, it's funny as shit, man. I tell you, man, it's, it's funny. You, you really got to see it. So anyway, for this year, coming up on December 1st, Zaboxi, he's another dude out in Belgium or someplace, you know. He said he would do the hosting. So anyway, it's about to start. And I, I'm going to participate, man. I'm on my bike now kind of practicing. Oh, there's a sign. Oh, solar bear, solar bear, solar bear. See, ha, 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 ha. It's f***ing funny, man. I just can't tell you. Anyway, I hope you'll participate in the SBC. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's starting December 1st, 2012. And you know what? If you like freezing your nuts off, you could do the PBC too. The Polar Bear Challenge. Yeah, man. I mean, you know, if you live someplace that's really cold, you go out, you ride your motorcycle, and you just record the temperature and how far you went and shit. And, you know, you'll have a lot of fun, too. Of course, you get frostbite on your nuts, but whatever. So, anyway, man, I hope this uh, tells you what the SBC is. Are you going to participate? You are. Cool, man. That is fantastic. Okay, man, I'll see you later. Solar bear, solar bear. Oso, oso, oso solar. Oh so, oh so, oh so, 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 so,